Well, just maybe, just maybe it was a good thing that that video evaporated. I tried to do a video on um, wheat grinders and flour mills and mixers, but disappeared. It's gone, so I'll have to make one more little stab at it here. Got a couple of minutes. Um, the three basic types are steel burr, stone grinders, and high speed impact flour mill. Make this much simpler. I'm sure I can make it much shorter. I'm not real familiar with the, with the steel burr mills. A stone mill is like the old fashioned stone mills that they had attached to a water wheel and they used the creek and the flow of the water to power the um, the stone flour mills. A lot of old towns still have them. And then, but sometimes the um, sometimes the stones will glaze over from the um, from the wheat or the from the grain that you're milling. They just they either go horizontally like in a old fashioned one by water mill or vertically. The home, home ones are vertical, the stone mills usually. And then the high speed impact mill is uh, uses high speed centrifugal force to, to push the grain outward through a series of channels, kind of like this. There's a little bit of space in between the um, can't think what those would be called prongs of the ch of the channels, and the, there's more than one of them. They're situated like this, and then they rotate at high speed, and it causes the grain to explode. Which is why you call it a flour mill instead of a wheat grinder. I am very partial to the older Bosch mixers. The uh, the old ones I think were 600 watts. The new ones I believe are 750, and they uh, they have plenty of power. I haven't tried the newer ones. Uh, I would like to buy one, but I've never been ready to part with the money. My uh, my KitchenAid mixer, which I bought with garage sale money 18 years ago, works just fine for batches of cookie dough. And it will make one batch of the um, Great Depression video five no fail French bread recipe, which has six cups of flour in it. And that's really all I would feel comfortable putting in it would be like six cups of flour in my my uh, KitchenAid. And <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> got my hair going all directions here. That's all I would feel comfortable putting in it. So that would not be my ideal bread mixer. The uh, kitchen aid. Um, I would like to open this up and ask you to please contribute to us and let us know what kind of a flour mill or a wheat grinder you have. I think most of the ones that are hand grinders are very slow. I believe there is one brand that is not really slow and it's it's a more expensive hand grinder and that it's a convertible it can go both ways. And I think that's the one I would like to have, but I would like to hear what you have to say because I'm not buying one right now. I don't have a lot of extra money in the corner um, collecting dust. <laughs> so that's three minutes and 45 seconds. I should be able to wrap this up here. Um, if you have a steel burr mill, let us know how you like that. And if you have other uh, dough mixers. The older bashes seem to be just uh, indestructible. So if you have a Bosch too, let us know how you feel about that. To me, that's the creme de la creme. Uh, I have borrowed one and used one, the older ones, and I would probably buy an older one if I get my hands on one. I guess that's all I'm going to say. That's about all I know. Um, I don't think that any of the mills are wonderful from what I can tell mine. Uh, the pan doesn't fit on there very well and you have to empty it after every, I don't know, 10 cups of flour or so. And the, um, the pan doesn't fit very well on mine, so flour goes flying all over the place. I should really use it outdoors on the picnic table if I was going to use it because it gets all over everything and it's a big mess to clean up. Um, 
something else I was going to say about that and just makes a lot of noise. It sounds like a legit engine. I'm going to hurry and fix this so it will hopefully not die. God bless your efforts to prepare. Make it happen.